The family of a man who died on Rikers Island held a rally today calling for a criminal investigation. Relatives of 31-year-old Elijah Muhammad and their supporters gathered in front of a mosque on West 116th Street. Muhammad was found dead inside Rikers last month. His family says he overdosed on fentanyl. How is it that in a 24-hour secure facility, okay, it was complete disregard for his mental illness as well as medical care? We want any correction officer who played a part in this wrongful death to be held accountable criminally. The city's Department of Correction fired an officer after the death. Muhammad's family has indicated they would file a $25 million lawsuit against the city. We contacted the city for a response, but we didn't hear back.